Feedworks Motorsport Championship. Eight laps, NZ Central Muscle Cars. The fast boys down the back of the field, starting from pit lane. Watkin Douglas Swan and the other guys. That's Janine Douglas and Trevor Swan. What can they do to start the race and get some good clear racing room out in front first up? So away they go and Trevor Swan sweet. Greg Running's in the running. Janine Douglas hasn't quite got her yep. car up to speed yet. Trevor Swan had a, had a win last time here, so the smile might be starting to come on his face already. Now the second match go away. Some lovely uh, Mustangs and Camaros there. Sixty-eight. That's a the boss. Paul Bowden. That's a boss-looking car for the boss. <laughs> One sixty-eight. Mark Pollock and Hampton in that Camaro. Now the rest of the field streaming down the back. Grant Dalton, Greg Honor. Greg Honor got a bit of a poor start there. Must have stalled it off the line. So unfortunately, he's going to be behind the three guys that dominated the last race. So now the question is, they've got eight laps. Oh, bit of a lock up there for Anderson. Oh, Andrew Anderson oh, oh, come straight on. over the ripples. <laughs> Missed the breaking point completely. Dean Perkins is right up. The pressure, pressure is on. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't even got past the second quarter. And now Dean Perkins has pounced. Dean, are we happy there's a bit of a block between uh, him and, and Foggy? And Andrew Anderson will become angry Anderson. Yep. So how long can the guys who started on pole stay out in front before the mid-packs? You know, the Paul yeah. Bowdens, the Noyers, the Hollands, the Clark Hopkins and those guys yeah. get a chance to. Tristan Tecky. Yeah. As, as I've been um, like with, the, with the class quite a long time, the actual, the actual class is getting really close together. There's not a lot of, lot of difference in times compared to what they used to be. You know, as the drivers get more and more experience, Ooh. they, um, you know... Some of them... <laughs> was that Big Bill Bruce? Bruce Anderson, yeah. Got a bit sideways there. Having a crack at Grant Dalton. So down the back straight. Swan running Douglas. That's the top three. Bruce Kett's making a move, followed by Bowden and Neuer. They're the challenging bunt. And Foggy's going to make a move on Andrew Anderson. Yeah, they race together, obviously, in NZV8s yep. as well. So there'll be a bit of rivalry there. Along with Dean Perkins, too. So Foggy's made that move. What about speed? 103.1 for Fogg. Anderson at 105. Greg Honor at 101. So he's really pushing it to just keep up. Yep. Bruce Anderson, 60 seconds, 0.8. Grant Dalton, 60 seconds, 0.7. Now they're going to get the squeeze from Perkins. Fogg. Anderson. Honor. This is where it starts to tighten up and, you know, then they've got to get through the traffic and fight their way through and their lap times will probably get slower as they're trying to fight their way through, which doesn't help them at all. Now further back out in front, mid-pack. Clark, Clark Hopkins, Hopkins, number eight in the roofing industries, Tirana. A lovely looking car, that one. Then Paul Clark behind him in the Mustang. Clark arrived late for the uh, practice session yesterday. Ross Graham and the A9X Tirana that... Um, oh, oh! Andrew Anderson. He's having one of those days. Yeah, it's not, not, not good to see them out there, but doesn't look like she's sustained a hell of a lot of damage, so, which is good. Just one little wee bump off that ripple and you can see how it affects the uh, ability to hold that straight line as they run the ripples that sort of gauntlet between two and three to cut the apex of the corner. Here's Paul Clark having to go on uh, Clark Hopkins. He's going to have an attack late and hard under brakes down into the hairpin. Hopkins we'll has still got that inside line though, but the Mustang's going to go around and get the job done. No, Maybe, yes. although still fighting it out. I'll continue this 
No, well done, Clark Hopkins. Keeps him back out. There's that uh, big charger. With the beautiful silver Camaro of Tristan Tecky coming through in a moment. Up and over the hill. Hopkins. This is the battle for 9 10. Tecky, you see it coming through, number 27 at the moment. 11. Car number 27, Hopkins. Got it all that special livery you were talking about earlier today. And yeah, bad day for Andrew Anderson. You have to park the pine pack Looked for the in. Falcon. Yeah, looks a bit, a bit of damage. May have just suffered some on the ripple strips. Obviously, if you go off like that, and you know they'll know when they get back on the track whether there's something wrong with the car, and obviously to get it off the track and out of the way is the best thing to do. So Paul Clark, 49, has made the move on Clark Hopkins. Paul Clark's coming up on Steve Dowdy. You can see it, like they're all sort of bunching up together now, and this is where it gets interesting, you know. But this is where they can get held up, because the other cars are, are quite fast as well. Yeah, well, there's not a lot of difference between the, you know, the back markers, you know, so, you know, you're only talking seconds a lap, and it's just whether they get a lucky break. So it's still 55, Greg running with five laps gone. He's still out in front from Trevor Swan, Janine Douglas, Bruce Kett, Steve Neuer. Then it's Bowden, Doherty, Clark, Hopkins, and all the big guys trying to muscle their way through the rest of the field in the NZ Central Muscle Cars. You can see a high-moving, big noise freight train down that back Fog straight now. Foggy's making a move on Wallace. So Foggy's got up. He's, of course, won that first race. Now the other drivers will be closing in on the leaders too. How long can they hold on? So Greg running, 55. Started from P3. He's got a quite a handy lead of about a second over Trevor Swan. But now the other guys, the likes of Kit Holland Lawyer, starting to close up. Have they got time? I think the likes of Foggy and stuff, it's going to be hard for them to really get through. Great shots as they come into the entrance of the back straight. Fogg, Dalton, Pertons, Wallace, Honor, Anderson. It's a bit of a freight train Bruce coming Anderson. through now. We'll pick up where the leaders are at the front of the field because there's bound to be a couple of changes out there at the moment. It'll be the last lap board coming up for number 55, Greg Running. Is he in the running for a win? And the VK comp? The VK Commodore, is it? Yep, yep, VK Commodore, yep. It's an ex-Colin Sargeson car, that, actually. Um, we actually got it going for him when we took it down the South Island with um, the HQ that uh, Dean Hansen's <coughs> running now, that, well, that owns now. So we did a bit of work on that, and, yeah. So the VK Commodore, the 84 of Greg running, he's still got a good lead over Swan. He's on target to get the win. Who's going to be able to muscle their way through the big pack here, further back down the field? All the likes of Boot, Anderson, trying to hook into the top ten. But there's running and Swan, so they've got the break. And here comes Holland, Kett. Holland and Kett, who are currently in, um, like, first and second in group group two. And then Neuer behind them. Whoa, oh, big, big lock-up from Tecky. Big smoke. Oh, well, might have popped another tyre. He had a tyre incident this morning as well. So up and over the hill and Greg running. He's going to take the win to finish up the racing here today in the NZ Central Muscle Cars. Trevor Swan's going to come home in third. Mark Holland will be... Uh, Swan will be second. Mark Holland will be third. Then it's Kent Neuer, Clark. Hopkins, Anderson, Bowden, Gilbraith, Fogg, number 11, comes home 11. Booth, Dalton, Perkins, Wallace, Doty, Honour, Graham, Douglas, and 